Okay, so here I have a um, draft site. So what I like to do sometimes is uh, as soon as I open a draft site document, which is uh, usually uh, AutoCAD or something like that, I like to find out uh, what is the units, how, how did it translate to each other. So what I will usually do is that I will just draw a line here, for example, and press enter, and then uh, draw another object sort of like that press enter and then i'm going to draw another object with a unit so here for example i'm going to tell it to be um what 800 for example press enter and press enter so so maybe add a few more little objects here like that a circle perhaps and a spline enter 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 okay that's looking good enough so what i'm going to do now is save and what i'm going to save it's uh, i'm going to save that uh on my desktop um desktop and i'm going to call it test dxf dot no it's actually test and I'm gonna rename that into the, the DXF okay I have a test there that I was playing with before so open um, yes replace it yes okay so now I'm gonna bring up FreeCAD that I already opened here I'm gonna open a new file and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply open DXF file itself so what I'm gonna go I'm gonna go directly to my desktop and select the file and just drag into FreeCAD um, test DXF right here and so so clearly we can see that FreeCAD has the ability to import some uh, DXF information uh, splines and stuff like that but obviously they do not have the re-editable properties and for some reason some objects behave in ways that are not exactly understood why for example this closed rectangle will create a face while this closed circle will create a you know just a, a wire circle or some sort now what i want to do instead is i want to find out how exactly my dimension translates. so I'm going to test the dimension that for which I entered the unit for. So this one is was 800. So here I see that it's 0.8 meters. So I know that um, when it comes to um, any kind of work done in in uh, AutoCAD or draft site, I know a little bit what the the base unit uh, would look like this is the this is the way that i usually tend to find out how a unit translates from one software to another i just open a drawing and then i test something okay so now that that's done it's still like this the next thing that i would like to do is that i would like to now test the files to show you um so the file currently uh the elementary uh project itself uh, there are a few of them. Um, we're going to open them each one at a time so we can take a closer look. So, file, open, and I save them uh, documents, graphic, uh, what is it? Elementary. Okay, Kintai Moroi. So, we have this one. Open that one open and then you have the other one open so we can take a look at what's inside file open open for some reason I cannot just grab all of them and open them at once uh, 
I've tried that before, it didn't work, so this is why it's a bit painful to have to use draft side this way one at a time. But now that I have all the drawings, let's look at the first one. So in the first one, basically, uh, I have a uh, I have a general floor plan, as we can see here. And on the second page, I have the levels above. Uh, Planta Terce Nivel. And this one is uh, Planta Segundo Nivel. I think that that's second floor, and this means third floor. Okay. And here, what do we have? We have a few elevations. And here we have um, some sections, of course. Okay, looking good. And here, of course, we have the longitudinal section. So, what's in the second document? Here we have, uh, once again, the floor plans. Um, I think that this demonstrates the extensions and their elevations once again sections and section okay now this is the detail this probably what we're not going to be looking at at any time soon so these are the heavy duty details I think I'm going to close this one. And then lastly we have this site and all its information. Okay. So what should be interesting first is to see if we can upload or import first this information into FreeCAD to see because what we want to do is we have we want something to start with, to get started with, to work with. But um, so probably what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to close this for now. No, no. Now I've already tried to um, let's say import this into FreeCAD and it didn't work where because for some reason there's so much information in these AutoCAD lines that FreeCAD is just not going to generate them. Um, so another way that I try to do that is I try to uh, turn off a few layers um, where let's say um, if I had all of these layers for example how do you select all of them at once okay basically you get the point so you, you basically turn them all at once and you select just the layer that you want but um, that also didn't work quite well so it's inviting me to do to do the tedious work and what I mean by the tedious work is the fact that you actually have to trace out the layout with a line that you control because you can control uh, let's say one polyline or uh, which is it's very clean so for example what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come to the layers create a new layer based on the zero layer and then I'm going to create that uh, what am I going to call that free card trace layer for example okay where are you right here and uh, I'm probably gonna make your color line color that should be fine maybe line weight a little bit thick so we can see what's going on okay so let's try that let's give it a shot uh, where do we want to start from Ta -da -da -da. perhaps from here so what I want to do is I want to turn off these layers turn this one off turn this okay so maybe what I want to do is I want to get started with this grid line so uh, particularly useful so do this enter that's the layer okay 
it doesn't appear that I am on my layer okay now I am on my layer delete this guy okay do that again so this is gonna be the tedious part of this thing uh, unfortunately uh, working with DWG is not yet a smooth process okay so right now I just need to copy this uh, copy and put it right here another one right here another one there another one there another one there Nope, not quite. Right there instead. Delete this one. Okay. And so I will do the same thing on this side. This is supposed to be the guideline for my greed. Copy this. right here right here okay and enter okay so now at this point I can just uh, select this uh, select matching this button you press to select select all of the layers it's been a while since I uh, used this where is it where is it no okay whatever so I'm gonna just select them like this tap 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 okay file X uh, save us and this one we will call it Greed. Put that in the folder. The XF exports. Save that. Bring back FreeCAD. File. Import. Uh, documents, graphic, elemental, <sighs> okay, now I don't have anything, um, probably because I forgot to specify that I wanted a DXF file. Okay, like this, like this. And like this. So I'll do that again. File. Save as DXF, my friend. Okay, save. Delete the DWG. Now bring back FreeCAD. File import. DXF. Open. What do we have? 
It's taking a minute to think. It's just... What? A few lines? Come on, man. Oh, no. That's the mistake. So, I forgot one important, crucial step. Is the fact that... Um, it's not thinking it's saving or importing just one drawing. It's importing the whole thing. So what I forgot to do is instead, um, let me close this free cat because it's not going to go anywhere. So it's going to load for like that forever. You can let it go on for a day, but it's not going to do anything. So you just have to force quit that and open a new free cat file. And here instead, what you do, unfortunately, when you, you have to reselect all of that again, um copy that like this okay and then uh, file or edit copy uh, uh, copy with reference point Zero, 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 zero. Zero, comma, zero, comma, zero. get last this so copy that once again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten edit copy file new open File paste, edit paste, paste as block actually. So about right here. Okay. So now file save as. This is supposed to be my grid, my DXF grid. Original. Okay, now let's try this again. Let's bring the free CAD architecture new open open All right, there we go. So we've got something. So now let me find out if my measurements are exact. So here I'm going to take my dimension, aligned like this, three. Okay, do another one. Like this, 3.81. So, what do we have here in free cat? Um, dimension three millimeters. All right, this, so this is the kind of stuff I like to catch. Why would it? import this way so that means I have to scale this drawing so that means that if I were to try to scale it by how much do I need to scale every drawing and so the scale the scale tool in FreeCAD is not exactly great you know I don't like it so much because it's not as efficient and good as the scale in in the in uh, AutoCAD and whatnot so now what do I tell it to be 
you know, a skill. Not working, I have to find a different way. Maybe if I clone it like this. I want a line of three right now. So three like this. It's quite a big one. So that means that my scale needs to reflect that. So I need to scale in X and Y. As Not even close. Obviously, that's one to too much. Okay, so maybe one thousand five hundred. No, I need to shrink it down by one third of its current, by two third of its current size, and uh, right now we are at three. Okay, this so that's one thousand. Okay, so it seems that everything that I have to import, I have to first clone it and then scale it by about one thousand for it to make sense. Okay, that's good information to know. Save. Uh, what am I going to call it? I'm going to call it plan. Save. Actually, yeah, I'm going to call it just exactly the same name copy rename paste okay so all right so now this is what you do to get one bloody thing in here so now based on this I can start to work with something because I can now create uh, a um, an axis tool so one two three four five six seven seven of them with um, a height of uh, 15.03 and um, A length of uh, 21.03 the reason this is important is because since I don't have uh, this object centered at the center of this thing I'm going to be using the end nodes to snap once in a while as a snap option once in a while so that it allows me to import objects and also just uh, visually uh, locate them based on these end nodes 
so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to insert an axis system okay so here we were dealing with um, the one two three four five six seven of course so in free cap we do the same thing add seven more Okay, so this one is 3,000. This one looks like another 3,000. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to move this and snap it right here. So I can see that, take this do the same okay so this is um, 3000 as well I think that this is also 3000 3 meters this looks like a uh, Oh, okay. This is my dimension actually. So that's actually another three as well. So this three. Three and three. Okay, and what about your land? Fifteen point oh five. Close that. Come here to the length. Fifteen point oh five. Okay, we are in business. Axis Y one, two, three. Da, da, da. Okay. I need another one. This one will be rotated by ninety degrees. And this one will only be three of them. So remove and remove. Close this, select this. And so now I can move that all the way here. Okay. So now I want to give it a length of 21.3 meters. To 1.3 enter and uh, of course this is gonna be what is this dimension uh, this is 3.81 and uh, this is 2.10 so here 
I'm gonna see. Three, eight, one. Not exactly. Okay. We have to tell our dimensions to be a little bit more specific than that. Let's see if we can do that. Preference. Units, number of decimals, three. Apply, okay. It's not telling me what I want to know. Let's try it otherwise by just drawing a line here to there. And what can you tell me? 3.805. So 3805. 3.805. Okay, it's a bit more accurate now. Let's try the same trick for uh, for this one as well. So this is two one zero five. Two one zero five. Close that. And this is going to be cancel that A B and C. All these red messages telling me it can't do it. Strange. for what we're trying to do at this point so what I'm going to do now hide this delete that and delete all this junk everything that's going to be imported and used as a reference I'm gonna call this imported reference clone and I'm gonna create another one Import a reference DXF. So what I can do here is tell this, for example, to be line width of one, like this, because I might still need to use them in the future. So I want to drag this into here, the clone guys, and here I'm going to rename that X one no a comma b comma c enter so all this organization will save us some time late a lot of time later on so now i can simply hide the guides when i don't need them so now i have the main uh the main um Greed. So now I can go back to draft side and what I can do, oops, undo that. And what I can do now and again from here on is with a lot of uh, confidence now, 
uh, start retracing over so I'm probably just gonna delete this existing line so I don't get things mixed up and confused so uh, simply delete this delete that delete this that and that okay but I still need um, some type of guide for this corner angle so what I'm going to do is now uh, do this like this so it gives me something to snap onto uh, and then something like this and something like this enter okay now I can uh, begin to introduce my elements in a bit more confidence so the first thing will be this rectangle and then there's this one and of course this one here as well Seems that these are all the concrete uh, cast structures. Okay. My god, the music is so great. Okay, so I have everything. You, for example. <sighs> this is a uh, type of painful activity that you need to do to obtain accurate results. Or at least the uh, great quality results. It's in the details. That the magic happens. Okay, so here I'm gonna call my polyline guy, this guy, okay. Okay. Mm 
So basically what I'm doing is I'm ex I'm going to be extracting the main information everything that's going to prevent me from reinventing the wheel that right here to right there okay now what else am I missing okay I need to find a way to select just what I want select uh, smart select by layer okay smart select <laughs> by layer Okay, finally I figured it out. So now I can uh, simply do the same thing I did earlier. I want to um, edit, copy, and come here and uh, paste it. Maybe here I want to create a new layer, a new layer, I'm going to call this one grid, grid, concrete, Long. Okay, so you, I move you into the grid. Okay, fire paste. <coughs> this here first and then I'll select that and move that like this and then from here move that like this okay now I can select this <coughs> and turn it off. I 
actually just delete that, make it easier. Um, so what I'm gonna save it as uh, save as DXF. I'm gonna call it uh, column on column. Okay, so bring back free CAD and file import plant columns. All right. Now I have to clone this guy again. And so here I'm going to scale that by 1000 on each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. I suppose we should be scaled now. Okay. So I'll do the same thing. Let me bring you back on. Let me turn you off. Come on, make this uh, wireframe then, and do that again. Give me the center point, man. What is your deal? <clears throat> hmm. End point is bugging you. Intersection is bugging you. This is getting frustrating. Something's not right with the behavior of this thing. Okay, maybe I'm gonna turn this off now. Maybe that's what's bugging. Turn that on and turn that on. It's doing everything but not trying to get the center point. 
That's interesting. Let me explode that. Okay. Strange thing, I have to cheat this way to get it to snap here, man. This is so strange. Anyways, I think we're in business now. So I can uh, delay these two lines. And I can delete this uh, import as well. Delete that. And uh, I think I have my uh, columns here. Okay. File save. 